Ayes have it. Ordinance amending Chapter 5, 530, Streets and Sidewalks to Establish Procedures and Requirements Relating to the Right-of-Way Usage for Construction and Deployment of Small Wireless Facilities. Mr. Egan moves for a third, <laughs> second by Mr. Shuldroff. Is there any, all in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed, ayes have it. Ordinance amending Chapter 530, Streets and Sidewalks to establish procedures and requirements relating to right-of-way usage for the construction and deployment of small wireless facilities. Four and a five of votes taken. Is there anyone in the audience like to speak on this bill? Seeing none, clerk, please pull the council. Caputo? Yes. Shuldroff? Yes. Hankey? Yes. Pagano? Yes. Parson? Yes. Siam? Yes. Harris? Jones? Yes. Egan? Yes. Bill number 9512 passes and becomes ordinance 8533. Bill number 9514. I'll make a motion. Move for a third reading. Second. Second by Mr. Hinky. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Ordinance authorizing appropriation of $19,900 from the General Revenue Fund to account number 01570-16000, contract services to cover contractors for the media department. Before the final vote is taken, does anyone in the audience like to speak on this bill? Seeing none, clerk, please pull the council. Caputa? Yes. Shildreth? Yes. Hankey? Yes. Pagano? Yes. Parson? Yes. Siam? Yes. Harris? Yes. Jones? Yes. Egan? Yes. Bill number 9514 passes and becomes ordinance 8534. Next item, new business, board appointments. Next item is council no. announcements. No. no, no, I'm sorry, council. Mayor's appointments, we said none. Yeah, yet, bills yet. for a first, first reading. I, I'm, 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 I'm. Little, Next item is bills for a first reading. Bill number 9515. Ordinance to author is an amendment to special use permit number 8394 as amended to Smoke and Sip LLC to allow for the enclosure of a patio and a pergola for a cigar bar for the property located at 411 Rue St. Francois. Bill number 9516. Ordinance authorizing a transfer of $12,000 from account number 01506290010 golf course maintenance to account number 01506300000 equipment repair to cover additional equipment repair for the golf course. Mr. Shodroff moved for a second reading, second by Mr. Egan. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Ayes have it. Is there any discussion? Ordinance authorizing a transfer of $12,000 from account number 01506290010, golf course maintenance to account number 01506300000, equipment repair to cover additional equipment repair for the golf course. I'll move for a third reading, second by Mr. Shodroff. Roll call, please. Caputa? Yes. Shildroth? Yes. Hankey? Yes. Pagano? Yes. Parson? Yes. Siam? Yes. Harris? Yes. Jones? Yes. Egan? Yes. Bill Ordinance number 9516. I gotta read it for the third time. Oh, okay. Ordinance authorizing a transfer of twelve thousand dollars from account number zero one five zero six two nine zero one zero. If I get away with it, I would. <laughs> Golf course maintenance to account number zero one five zero six three zero 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 zero. Equipment repair to cover additional equipment repair for the prop, uh, for the golf course. Four and final votes taken. Does anyone in the audience like to speak on this bill? Seeing none, clerk, please pull the council. Caputa? Yes. Shildroth? Yes. Hankey? Yes. Pagano? Yes. Parson? Yes. Siam? Yes. Harris? Yes. Jones? Yes. Egan? Yes. Bill number 9516 passes and becomes ordinance 8535. Now, council announcements. <laughs> Mr. Harris. I would like to say congratulations to the 168 swimmers of the Fluorescent Fish swimming team for winning their 10th straight conference championship this past weekend. Uh, the fish took home 31 golds, 18 silver, and 22 bronze. Uh, two young men on the team set new conference records. Congratulations to Gavin Balds of Sacred Heart and Jaden Yarbrough of St. Rose. Uh, the fish team swimmers range in age from 3 to 18 and there are eight graduating seniors this year. Uh, the team was five and one in dual meets this season. They're pretty awesome. Uh, so congrats again to them. And then uh, also just like to say, 
school starting soon. And I know Hazelwood School District and Ferguson Florissant School District are both having uh, back to school fairs this Saturday. So look for information on that. I know they have free backpacks and uh, resources. Uh, if you're looking for that, uh, check out the back to school fairs, both at the districts and there's a number of nonprofits that are holding events as well. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Harris. Mr. Cyan. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, just one final reminder for Ward 9 residents that um, we will be having a Ward 9 neighborhood watch meeting in exactly one week, seven, uh, Monday, July 29 at 7 p.m. in the basement of the Egan Center, the Arts and Crafts Room. And uh, our ward captains, Chris Matson and Jeff Cook, will be there, um, as well as uh, as well as, as uh, some officers from the police department. So please uh, come and participate in your neighborhood watch and uh, help to keep our neighborhood safe. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Siam. Mr. Jones. Uh, yeah, I'd like to give a shout out to the team, like I always do, our food pantry, uh, which is very important. All cities have them. Uh, everybody has their ups and downs. Uh, anybody's got some time. Uh, they're always looking for volunteers, you guys, and please remember there's always somebody hungry morning, noon, or night. Another thing I'd like to bring up is the speed on Lindsay Lane, and this has something to do with the speed on Lindsay Lane. I'd like to thank our mayor, our police department, our judge, and this council for voting in of the new double defined zones. Uh, those signs are starting to be erected out on the streets, and I hope people pay attention. And the ones that speed to get the double the fine, they probably deserve them. But uh, well, I think the cities went out of their way to try and try and try. Uh, but I, I, I think it was time for these signs to get erected, and I hope it does our city some justice as far as bicyclers, people walking our sidewalks, and children out on our streets. That was the whole intent of this. It was not money driven. It was for the safety of our residents. So I'd like to say thanks to all those guys. I know our mayor sat down with me on many occasions looking over this, doing our homework on it. And like I said, I'd like to thank this council for passing that. Thank you, Mr. Jones. Mr. Parson. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, just want to remind everyone to check on uh, your elderly neighbors with the very intense heat that we've been having here recently it's very important that we check on them they don't always feel the temperatures like like we do um so you know i've experienced seen people experience uh, heat exhaustion in the past and it's something that's very serious so you want to make sure that they are being well taken care of another thing uh recently make sure that you're picking up any any trash that you see on the streets it seems like i'm seeing a lot of that here recently um, it doesn't take much effort if you see something in your neighborhood streets or even on the main thoroughfares uh, make sure you help the city out and clean it up uh, we do what we can but of course we don't always see everything but it, it takes a group effort uh, to keep the city clean and lastly the great ward 8 is having a neighborhood watch meeting on August the uh, 13th which is a Tuesday evening at the James J Egan Center it's going to be at 7 p.m. Uh, anybody in Ward 8 and anybody in Florissant is welcome to attend. It's very important to be a uh, part of your neighborhood watch uh, so that we can all look out for each other's property and, and our person. Thank you. That's all I have. Thank you, Mr. Parson. Mr. Egan. Thank you, Mr. President. Since we met last uh, two weeks ago, a young man by the name of Mike Schneider and I sat down. He asked for my daughter's hand in marriage. I gave him the blessing. And so we're very happy for a new person becoming the Egan family, Mike Schneider, who's a St. Louis County police officer. Mr. Bugs, I may need some uh, uh, money, so I might come wash, wash dishes for you. I got a, a wedding to pay for. But anyway, thanks. Uh, congratulations to Maggie and Mike. Yeah. Congratulations, Joe. Thank you, Ms. Egan. Yes, um, firearms. Make sure if you own firearms. Make sure you keep them secured. Do not leave them in your vehicle unsecured. We just had some, one get um, stolen out of an unlocked vehicle. So a guy left it in there overnight. Guy rammed through his car and he stole his pistol. So make sure, make sure you keep your firearms secured. Like I always say, if you're gonna be, you have to be a responsible firearm owner. If you're not gonna be responsible, you shouldn't own one. Um, neighborhood Watch. There will be the National Night Out. It will be Tuesday, October 1st from 6 to 8 p.m. If you need to get a block party going on, make sure you get a hold of um, Cheryl Inwhistle at the mayor's office so you can get a, um, 
a block party permit set up. Also, I'd like to congratulate, we have three or four new, three block, new block captains in the ward. That's great, thank you, congratulations, and um, hopefully you guys can get um, some more people registered and um, signed up for a neighborhood watch. Thank you. Mayor? Yeah, the first time I want to just piggyback off of Mr. Harris a little bit. I was able to attend the finals on yesterday, actually, for the fish. It was an outstanding event. My wife and I were there. A little hot, but it was an outstanding event just to see those kids compete. And, uh, you know, from, I think there they had the, the ages were from 6 to 18, but I know they do have the three-year-olds in the program. And uh, it was just neat to see the event, not just for the flourishing kids, but it was all North County, and it was just a great event for all of us. And congratulations to the fish. They did an outstanding job. A lot of dedicated coaches that we have and some really neat kids, so it's, it's neat to see. Um, the other thing I want to talk about or mention is congratulations on, on Sunday, uh, July 14th. We had the Miss uh, Missouri Senior America pageant at uh, the theater, which I attended. And I just want to say congratulations to uh, our new Miss uh, 2019 Miss Senior America pageant winner, Mrs. Uh, Miss Nancy Wilkinson. Um, this, uh, this Saturday is another one of our Music Under the Stars out at uh, St. Ferdinand. This week we have the Smash Band, which is always a, a lot of a, a great attendance there. Um, I think that the, tru the uh, food trucks have been going over very well. Mr. Bugs and uh, Man Meats have been there, and I think the last two weeks. And I think this week you better get ready because this is really going to be a busy week for you. Um, reminder, on uh, July 31st is our next uh, Wednesday night out. It's going to be the family fun and movie night. That's going to be at uh, the Knights Grounds. I guess they call it the Florence and Deshane Knights of Columbus Grounds now. Um, that's on July 31st. The next city of uh, Florissant and the Knights uh, Food Truck Night is going to be on Friday, August the 16th from 5 to 9 um, at the uh, Knights Grounds. The Retro Band will be performing until 9 o'clock. And then the August Wednesday night out is going to be August 28th uh, from 6 to 9. And that's going to be at uh, 201 through 302 St. Francis Street. Right, right around Bunkers, right in front of uh, Steve Vogt's uh, State Farm office. So that one's August 28th. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Next regular council meeting for the city of Florida will be on Monday, August 12th at 20, or 2019. Mr. Shodroff moves to adjourn the regular meeting, second by Mr. Siam. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Ayes have it. Meeting is adjourned. Thank you. Make a motion we open. Jackie, you going? Okay.